friends! Welcome back to science. My name is Dr. Erica and I am so excited that you will be joining us. This is our last day of experiments with chemistry at home. Tomorrow we'll be watching some amazing chemistry videos that we can't do at home but have some pretty spectacular reactions. Now we've learned a lot about different phases of melting versus dissolving and things like that and today we are actually going to do a new type of chemical reaction. It's called precipitation. So we are actually going to make a solid out of two liquids of things that you have at home, which is really cool. So we'll talk about why that's a chemical reaction and not a physical reaction as well. What you're going to need is some Epsom salt, just plain old Epsom salt that you use for your bathtub and some baking soda. And what I've already done here with my baking soda is I've actually spread it out on a cookie sheet and I cooked it for just a little while, 15, 20 minutes in the oven at like 275, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not super particular. You don't have to be perfect about that. What we're doing is we're actually drying out our baking soda. So we're going from sodium bicarbonate into a sodium carbonate. So that's all we need to do with that. We just need to make sure it's nice and baked. And then if you leave it out for a really long time, it's gonna absorb the water in the air. So you'll need to re-dry it out for your next experiments. All right, so I mentioned we are gonna have a chemical reaction and not a physical reaction today. So a physical reaction is like ice melting or steam from boiling water. We change from a liquid state to a steam state or we change from a liquid to a solid or a solid to a liquid. Those are physical reactions where water is still water, still two hydrogens, one oxygen, whether it's steam or ice or liquid, it doesn't matter. It's got the same friends that are all hanging out together. But today, we're actually gonna mix up our dance partners. So instead of keeping our two hydrogens with our one oxygen, we're gonna mix up dance partners. And it won't be hydrogens and oxygens, because that's water. We are actually gonna use magnesium sulfate and sodium carbonate. And we're gonna switch it around and make magnesium carbonate, which is also known as chalk. So if you filtered this out and dried it, it's very crumbly and very light and fluffy. But if you filtered it out and dried it and somehow compressed it, you would actually make your own chalk, which is really cool. All right, so let's make our fun experiment. We need some water, and I've got my measuring things, and I've got my two containers so that we can see it in action. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make two solutions, solution A and solution B. And I'm going to make extra this time, so I'm not going to go exactly according to what we wrote down, just because I want to make more for you guys to see more of it. But we're going to start with about a cup of water. And you can start with a half of a cup of water if you'd like to. And inside this cup of water, we're going to put this in here. And with that cup of water, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of my baked baking soda. If you have a quarter or if I have a half a cup of water, you'll add about two teaspoons instead. So I'm just gonna scrape up about a tablespoon of this baked baking soda that I have here. All right, and that's the sodium carbonate, not bicarbonate anymore. And it wasn't quite full, so I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. Because we're not in a college chemistry class, we have a lot of leeway on this working for us, even if it's not quite perfect. All right, so there is that. And in here, I'm going to add a half a cup of water. Let's put our half a cup of water in. Just about to there. And then I am going to add a few tablespoons of my Epsom salt. All right, so I have these two solutions. And we're going to mix them up until they're both nice and clear, which means they're both dissolved in there. All right, so we'll add a whole bunch of the Epsom salt in here. In fact, I think I might actually just add a little more water. But you just want to swirl these up. All right, so you want to swirl them really nice until everything sort of gets together. And I can clearly swirl with one hand and not the other, which is kind of a fun science experiment in and of itself too. Learning how to swirl with your off hand. Maybe you could try the other direction. This feels sort of like patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. All right. So, I want this to be as clear as possible when you guys see it. 
because that is really what's gonna give you sort of like the big wow moment. So you can almost hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I can hear my Epsom salt still dissolving into that water. And if I wanted, I could add oops, a little bit more water just to speed that up. You do want a high concentration of that Epsom salt though. All right, so if you mess up the concentrations, that's okay. You'll just get a little bit of a different result. You'll still get chalk, but you might get more chalk or less chalk. So it just changes it. And if you love this experiment, something you could try also, which will be really cool, is compare it to using cold water versus warm water and see, does that change it? And I wonder if it does, why it would. So many interesting questions. All right, so I have these guys that are pretty clear now. All right, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna pour one into the other. All right, it doesn't really matter which one you pour into which. And we're just gonna pour it on in and now watch really closely. You're gonna watch right here, you're gonna see what happens as we pour it. There we go. <gasps> Look at that, instant cloudy white that we got. And if you look really closely at it, you can't see it in ours anymore because it's very milky looking. Those are solids and we can filter these solids to create that chalk, which is awesome. All right, and that is our project today. We just made our chemicals dance together. So instead of magnesium sulfate and sodium carbonate, now I have magnesium carbonate and sodium sulfate. And we swapped our partners, had a lot of fun, and we made this beautiful white particulate that has been used for hundreds of years on blackboards, which is kind of amazing. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I am so excited that you came and did this precipitation experiment with us. I cannot wait to see our friends over in Zoom this afternoon. And also don't forget that tomorrow we'll be in Zoom only for our chemistry field trip, as we do stuff with a little bit more hazardous chemicals where you really need somebody else doing it for us. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great afternoon. Bye friends.